Folks, I want you to have this back to future opportunity with me. I want you to sit with me and operating principal Stephen when I used to go at him and I used to start calling it Stump the Stephen. Experience it with me. I want you to start thinking. Not was everybody this keeps their cell phone on their sign. So I do, the phone is still ringing sometime at the office. Find me one. I can call somebody and they're going to tell me they set floor time and their phones were ringing off the hook. Okay. And that's good business, right? You're trying to tell me that's not good business planning to say how much more extra time in 2014 okay, am so I going to sit at the desk? I'll give, so you, the another, I'll give you another example. And the market is picking up, so we know the phone is going to I'll ring. I'll give you another example. Would you rather spend three hours hoping the phone rings, or would you rather spend three hours making phone calls? Okay, that scares me to make phone calls. Or three hours knocking on someone's door. Uh, okay, but the ratio is going to be the same. I don't know if there are going to be any business in that. I may not get anyone. But one's proactive and one is... Hope. Now, one is work, and one is letting it come to me. So I'm getting the money easier. So why don't you gotcha. play the lottery? Uh, um, okay, uh, now you're trying to be smart. <laughs> I'm playing, like, like, like you would be, you're better rather winning the lottery. So how do you think a business plan is supposed to be done then? So I well, see how much money. Plan. It's it's. I want to sell this number of homes. I want to do this percentage. I want to make two hundred thousand dollars. X percent is going to be listings. X percent is going to be buyers. I need to call this many people to get that many listings. I need to call this many people to get that many buyers. If I have an open house, I will get one or two buyer leads from each open house that will convert to a real buyer. And I'll have a buyer's consultation with them. And then I'll make my X. So you're using logic. Logic usually wins. <laughs> Why do people buy homes? The price, which is logic, matches the emotion of, of buying the house. Okay, you got me on that. So, you can sit there for me for free, and every time the phone rings on one of my listings, personal listings, you can answer the phone for me. Okay. And I don't have to pay you for it. I would love an employee who would work for free. God, that would be awesome. Find me one. Okay, okay. Did okay. they teach you that in college? Did they? They taught you that working yeah. for free made sense. Well, when you say it like that, I didn't realize... Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't. I would love that people work for free. In fact, you know, we won't put anyone on seventy thirty here. They're all going to work for free. I'll just take all the money. They're just going to answer the phone. But, okay. You keep saying the whole seventy thirty. Okay, that was another stump to Steven. So, what did you think? Is that something that you were thinking about too? If you want to try to stump the Steven, call me, and watch your business take off. I promise you. What do you believe?